Assalamu alaikum. We start in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And may Allah's blessings and peace be upon his Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, and all the prophets before him, from Adam to Jesus, or Isa, peace be upon them both. The similarities between Adam and Isa are many. Both were created miraculously, and Adam descended at the start of human history to establish humankind. Isa, or Jesus, will descend at the end of human history to kill the false messiah, i.e. the Dajjal, or the Antichrist. But how far do the similarities go with regards to mathematics? In the entire Qur'an, there is only one verse in which Allah mentioned both Isa, i.e. Jesus, and Adam, peace be upon them both. It was the verse responding to those who questioned the miracle birth of Jesus, a.s. Allah said in the Qur'an, Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he was. So Allah here said, that Isa, i.e. Jesus, السلام, is like or similar to Adam, peace be upon him. This, of course, is in the context of their creation with direct divine intervention. But does this mean we can also find a mathematical harmony for the similarity? The answer to this is a miraculous yes. The first amazing observation is that in the entire Quran, Jesus, peace be upon him, was mentioned 25 times. Then when we check the mentions of Adam, peace be upon him, shockingly, they too are exactly 25 times. This is statistically stunning. And these lists are in the order of these mentions from the start of the Quran. Keeping in mind that both 19 and 7 are main keys in the Quran, consider this. We listed all mentions of Jesus from the start of the Qur'an and made a separate list for mentions of Adam from the start of the Qur'an in that order. The second shocking find is that while the lists are different, the verse which declares they are the same is the seventh verse in both lists. This too is stunning. The seventh mention of Adam السلام, matches perfectly the seventh mention of Jesus and for both, this was in the only verse they were mentioned in together. But the code is endless, so we will keep this highlighted number 7 in mind for later and move on. The miraculous surprise continues when we see that the 19th mention for both was in chapter 19. This is stunning and beyond human capacity. But what adds to how striking this is, is the fact that the story of the miraculous birth of Jesus السلام, is in chapter 19 and the whole story was told in 19 verses but as always it is endless when we count the verses in chapter 19 starting with the mention of Jesus up to the mention of Adam we find them 25 verses 25 is the total number of mentions for both in the entire Quran Subhanallah. Look at this impossible mathematical perfection. But for now, just remember that the order of the seventh mention for Adam and the order of the seventh mention for Jesus والسلام, is in the exact same verse they were mentioned in together, which said they were alike. But why seven? Before we answer that, let's mention a few more things. Going further, we find that the central number in the 25 verses is 13. 12 verses before it and 12 verses after it. So why is 13 the central number? Amazingly, the total number of Allah's pious servants, including Maryam, the mother of Jesus, mentioned in chapter 19, is 13. And the highlighted number 12 is the number of prophets which is basically the same list, but without Maryam. 
May Allah's blessings and peace be upon them all. The stunning harmony is endless. We said that in the verse Adam and Jesus السلام, were mentioned in together, which stated that they are alike, is the seventh verse on both lists and wondered if there is more to this number seven. We find that their mention was in the first seven words, with Adam being the seventh word. Then we find that the name Jesus uses four letters of the alphabet and the name Adam uses three letters. Together, they give us seven. Then when we count all verses they were mentioned in, they are a total of 49. So what is 49? Of course, 49 equals 7 times 7. The harmony and mathematics are amazing. Then to top it all off, this verse is between two verses which have seven words each. If this is not enough, the verse itself, as mentioned, is number 59, which is a prime number, so of course we check its order, and it turns out to be the 17th prime number. The number 17 is also a prime number, so we keep going, and amazingly, its order among prime numbers is 7. So again, we return to the number 7. This is amazing but some took it to the next level. Those who use grammar rules for counting took this even further and highlighted the following. The first mention of Adam was in verse 31 of chapter 2, and the first mention of Jesus السلام, was in verse 87 in chapter 2. When we count starting with the first mention of Adam up to the first mention of Jesus, peace be upon them both, it is word number 971. 971 is a prime number and its order is 164. So what is 164? 164 equals 114 plus 25 plus 25. Of course, this is the total chapters in the Quran, total mentions of Jesus in the Quran, and total mentions of Adam in the Qur'an, peace be upon them both. This is amazing. The code for their first mention in the Qur'an gives the Qur'an and their total mentions each in the Qur'an. But can we reinforce these connections? To be sure, this is the right path and not a coincidence. When we add the two verses, we get 31 plus 87 equals 118. Amazingly, this is the exact equation as before, but using a different method. The Quran is 114 chapters, as you know, but the word Quran repeated in the Quran 68 times, and 118 equals 68 plus 25 plus 25. Subhanallah. Either way, this shows Quran plus the mentions of Jesus plus the mentions of Adam. Peace be upon them both. All of we had mentioned so far is clearly beyond human capacity. But is that all with regards to 118? We find that 118 is also equal to 59 times 2. So could this also be indicative of something? You may have already guessed it. 59 is the number of the only verse in the Quran that mentions the two, Jesus and Adam, together. This is stunning because the first mention of Adam and the first mention of Jesus have a mathematical code that highlights their total mentions in the Quran and also points at the only verse where they were mentioned in together. This perfect mathematical code, as evident, is beyond human capacity and has revolved around the number seven. So why is the number seven the central theme here? Can we go deeper? Remembering that this verse had a verse before it and after it with seven words each, 
we look closer at the central word in this and amazingly it has seven words before it and seven words after it this alone is miraculous harmony with everything else we mentioned but is there more having been so clearly highlighted we examine this word and it is the word khalaqahu i.e created him to further highlight this we realize it starts with the letter kha this letter's order among the common hijai's alphabetic again is number seven this is amazing so we look at all the words letters hijai order and they are as follows 7 23 21 and 26 shockingly their sum total is 77 the word literally divides the verse which re revolves around seven into two sevens and its letters numerical order sum is two sevens even more shocking is that the approach of grammar rules shows that this word created him is not only the seventh word and starts with the seventh letter in the alphabet which is the kha but this letter kha has 23 letters before it and 23 letters after it literally a pair of 23 which is the number of human dna chromosomes and as mentioned in the previous video seven is the stages of human creation both originally and within the womb the mathematical message matches perfectly the verse the numbers literally shout at us that jesus salam, is a prophet yet some now worship him instead of following his message that there is only one god allah and that only allah is to be worshipped so can the numbers literally show this message even more to confirm that this is indeed the main message of this verse the answer is a stunning and shockingly perfect yes continuing with the grammar rules approach the researchers found that the, in the entire quran this is the only verse with 15 words which has 47 letters shockingly throughout the entire quran there is only one chapter with 15 words and 47 letters and it is chapter al-ikhlas chapter 112 it is the chapter that is focused completely on the oneness of allah and that there is no gods besides allah the mathematical message is clear isa i.e jesus peace be upon him just like adam was created by allah having 23 pairs of chromosomes and going through seven stages of creation and chapter 112 is a testimony that destroys all misconceptions that some had attributed to the prophet jesus peace be upon him by worshiping him instead of his creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this chapter say he is allah the only one allah the eternal refuge everlasting sovereign he begets not nor was he begotten nor is there to him any equivalent to top this all off both the verse and this chapter have 47 letters and 15 words and shockingly 47 is a prime number and its order amongst prime numbers is 15. subhanallah look at this undeniable mathematical code look at this undeniable mathematical harmony how can the verse that says jesus السلام, is like adam السلام, do all of this how can they be both mentioned exactly 25 times how can their separate lists still have their united mentions as the seventh in both lists how can the first mention of both in separate verses perfectly encodes their total mentions in the quran and in code for the verse they are both mentioned in how can their code in chapter 19 again give their total mentions and the number of pious servants in the chapter how can anyone claim that an illiterate man who could neither read nor write do all of this may allah's blessings and peace be upon the prophet muhammad 
alayhi salatu wasalam, all we can say is subhanallah, subhanallah the one, the eternal, the creator of everything, and the all-knowing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and until next time, assalamu alaikum.